what's up guys how we doing welcome back to another video it is uh tuesday the 23rd of january it is day 22 of counting my calories every single day for 30 days day 22 uh that's three quarters of the way there is it no 20 yeah yeah halfway through day 22 would be three quarters of the way there wowee what we're going to do today is run through some stats we're going to run through some some analytics, some measurables, um, the main measurable obviously being what this video series is around which is uh, calories consumed um, and of those calories uh, how they are split up into macronutrients and then we're going to focus on uh, calories burnt because the week that was uh, was a productive week. Uh, there was a couple of days where I didn't do hardly any exercise, but I certainly made up for them on the other days. And then uh, following that, we will do some averages, we will uh, do some sums, and we will find out exactly uh, what sort of caloric deficit, on average, I have been in for the last seven days. Alright guys, I'll grab my phone. Here we go. Tuesday the 16th of January. 1765 Wednesday the 17th of January 1971 Thursday the 18th of January 2457 Friday the 19th of January 1979 Saturday the 20th 2307 Sunday the 21st 2192 and yesterday, Monday the 22nd, 2051. Bringing the average, uh, over these last seven days, the average calories consumed over the last seven days to, to, um, to, to this. I did some sums at work, I can't remember where we were at, but I think it's around about that 2100 mark. Either way, we move on to macronutrients. And this is a figure that I got before. I took those seven days, I averaged them out, and over the last seven days, my macronutrients have sat at 147 average grams of protein, 180 average grams of carbs and 88 average grams of sugar uh, sorry fat what am I talking about so 147 protein 180 carb uh, and 88 fat and that is pretty good that's pretty good in my opinion I wouldn't want fat to be any higher than 100 that's just taken up too many precious calories I wouldn't want the carbs to be any higher than 200 and the protein you know, it falls where it falls. I try and get some form of protein in most of my meals, and it seems 147 grams was the average. So, the final piece of the puzzle is uh, calories burnt, calories expended, active calories combined with resting gives us a total each and every day. And starting on January the, what was it, January the 16th, January the 16th, no, 16, 18, 19, 20. January the 16th, sorry, it stuffs me up because we started on the 2nd, January the 16th, 1,020 active calories bringing our total to 3,388, January the 17th, 2,655, January the 18th, 3,183, January the 19th, 2,487. So that was a pretty sedentary day. January the 20th, 3,083. January the 21st, this was a big one, 3,493. I think that might be our biggest so far. And yesterday, another pretty big day, 3,225. Now, as I've mentioned before, oh, sorry, my mistake. So my calories, uh, burnt each and every day added together divided by seven comes to this and take that minus my calories consumed 
means that in, on average for the last seven days, from January the 16th to January the 22nd, I have been in a caloric deficit of this. And I don't know what exactly that is, but I'm going to say it's around about that 900 to 1000 mark, which is, you know, it was all good for the first week. You know, it was even all good for the second week, but to, to keep that up for three weeks straight, I mean, got to give myself a wee pat on the back. I don't know if I could, but I have, and I feel proud of myself. So, today, um, I am sitting at around about a thousand calories. I went to the gym, got a back workout in. I'm feeling fatigued, and I know why. Looking at the, looking at my calories burnt for the last two days, like I am in a, a really heavy deficit. I woke up this morning. I had an all-time low weigh-in, literally all-time. It was 85 point something, 86 flat. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. Obviously, it's no, and that was actually after drinking about 800 mils worth of water. So it would have been even less first thing in the morning. But I drank some water whilst I was in the shower, and uh, you know that is that's quite clearly um, quite the drop so I'm gonna keep pushing I'm gonna keep going for these 30 days I'm at a thousand calories for today so far we're gonna go out for dinner uh, so I've purposely saved some calories I don't know what I'm gonna get but I do want to end the day at 2200 calories or less that is my goal and uh, I think I'm gonna stick to it so thank you for watching, it's these days that I enjoy the most, looking back at the, the stats, uh, tomorrow, couldn't say what will happen, but I will stick to my morning routine which is get up, drink about a litre and a half to two litres of water before leaving to go to work, uh, drink a coffee before leaving to go to work, get to work, drink another two litres of water throughout the morning, another couple of coffees, uh, a tin of tuna, a yoghurt, a piece of fruit, that'll take me to lunchtime. And then uh, a main meal after lunch, and then another main meal at night time, and maybe a couple of little snacks in between. And that's me. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.